Good morning, everyone. Our time now is 732. Here is a live look from Norfolk International Airport. That's beautiful yeah, right there. there. It looks Mo amazing. Yeah, I know. More passengers are expected to take flights out of there this year than any other year before. Yeah, and that's why major upgrades are being planned to handle the increasing number of travelers. So 10 on your side's Brett Hall is live from the terminal building where he has information about what we could see as well as new nonstop destinations. We're excited to hear about those, Brett. I'm excited to go see the shot that you guys were just looking at. I can't see it from here. I'm gonna have to go do that. But yeah, so 250,000, so a quarter of a million more passengers right now than there was this time last year at Norfolk International. And that's even before the holidays hit. So those here at the airport say they really need to upgrade this 1970s terminal and they're taking swift action to do just that. Here is a look at the latest design of the new terminal expansion project that we've been telling you about for a little while, but this is the first time we're really seeing the stark difference that you'll see when this could be completed sometime 2027, 2028. Now to give you a point of reference, this would be where the gardens in front of the terminal building are right now. A lot of people might not see them if they're turning on either side of the building to go into their respective airlines, but they're going to eliminate that. Everyone will enter the same way. As we previously reported, ticketing, baggage check, as well as TSA, it's all going to be consolidated in this future design. Now, these designs aren't approved just yet, but they want this really open look that you're seeing. According to the, the deputy executive director here, Steve Sterling, he said it's not just Norfolk they are talking about when they designed this. A lot of the improvements we're doing are, are really to help promote the airport as a gateway to the region uh, and to be able to enhance our customer experience and to, uh, to be able to accommodate the capacity that we're seeing in terms of, of passenger growth. In Norfolk now leading Richmond and, of course, Newport News Williamsburg International Airport in traffic. Now, last week, the airport authority also agreed to move forward with negotiations with Virginia Beach-based LTD Hospitality to work on an airport hotel. We've also learned a new administration building could be coming. So the next three to four years, there's going to be a lot of construction here, starting in January with those movable walkways that are returning. Now, when it comes to new flights, well, Spirit and Breeze both are going to start flying to Southwest, uh, Southwest Florida Internet, uh, Airport that's just outside of Fort Myers. And Spirit is also adding Tampa to its nonstop destinations. We're live at Norfolk International Airport. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.